About four months ago now, uh, in a community post, I asked if anyone would be interested in a tour of my studio. And in fact, I had done a little mini tour before. So here we are now with the real thing. So we'll try and do a clockwise tour now. We might as well start with my table. If you're familiar with my videos, you'll have seen me sitting at this table quite often. Yeah, so this is where I do a lot of reviews and so on. And let's round things up here. I have the key light here, which is a Godox Silent UL150. That's my key light. In another video, I demonstrated my overhead rig which is basically a boom on a C-stand. If you can see behind there, that's a C-stand, the boom. And on the boom, I've got the overhead camera. That's a Nikon Z6. Right now it's got an 85 1.8 lens on it. And a panel light there, an uh, older aperture light. And we have our shotgun mic boomed out here. This is a Rode shotgun mic. And I'll put the uh, model number up. Over here, I've got my main camera, although there's no camera on it right now. And that's my teleprompter. And here we have an older iPad on there for the teleprompter. We have my big tripod here. Again, I'll just, I'll put up the model and so on. And right now we're recording with the Nikon Z9 as our camera one. And on there I've got the 14 to 30 F 4.5, or is it F4? I think it's F4 actually. So that's what we're recording with as our main camera. Over here, this is my workbench where I work. So this is kind of an organization area. And on the panel in the background there, on the hangers, we've got various things like our reflectors. There's a whole series of reflectors up there. Um, other lights that I don't use so often anymore. Just all kinds of grip gear and whatnot. In here, in this old filing cabinet, that's mostly my location strobes. And we've got a wee light um, softbox there. In here, we've got some other things like grids and my color correction kit and some other lighting stuff in there. In the bottom here, we've got, uh, these are value priced. <laughs> so some uh, velvet backdrop and other odds and ends that I use. Oh, I should say around the corner here, I've got my old Ellen Crom uh, strobes. I don't use those so much anymore. Mostly go battery operated now. Yeah, again, this is uh, odds and ends. Oh, I've got a boom up there with a flag on it that I often use to uh, take the shine off my uh, <laughs> dome. So I hope you can see what I've got there. Now, again, my key light, that's boomed out on a big roller stand and a heavy duty boom. Let's continue on here. As we go past, I'll mention these are my homemade acoustic panels and I've got lots of them scattered around here. There's some red ones over there, another black one on a stand over there, which also I made myself. Speaking of acoustics, before I go any further, I should say that here on the floor, I put down these um, foam interlocking mats. I used to have just a few of them. And so now in order to uh, help the acoustics in here even more, and I think that's been quite successful, Amanda helped me and we put this down about four months ago when I came up with the idea of a studio tour. Let's talk about this stuff over here. Right now I've got this Amaran 100D bouncing off the ceiling. That's just to light up this area for this particular video. So I've got a reflector slash diffuser there. I've got a homemade scrim that I made there. Another one of those acoustic panels. Over here is my location bag or roller case, whichever you want to call it. And so that's there. I also have one of those wheelie dealy wagons for hauling stuff around. Of course, there's my seamless backdrop. And I guess I should say that that's supported by a Savage uh, backdrop kit, stands and bar. And here's my backlight, which is the Godox UL60. And that works quite well at full power for my backlight. And these, I guess, I'm gonna call them my backdrop lights. I use these 
And again, if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that these are these are my backlights. We've got a little aperture MC here in the middle, another one of these. So that lights up my seamless nicely. Uh, did I mention this? This is our camera two right now, and that's another Z6. And I've got an older wide angle lens on there, which is actually a Tamron. I think that's a uh, 17 to 35, which doesn't focus on the Z6, but that's okay. It's a wide angle lens, so I've just got it set to, uh, I focused around here somewhere. So where are we now? This is the back of the boom and the overhead light. And I didn't mention my monitor right here, which runs USB cable up and onto the camera. Not forgetting our audio system. And this is the, what I call my audio location kit. I also did a video on that. So I'll also link that either at the end or up here somewhere. So yes, I'm quite enamored with this floor. Not only is it more comfortable walking around here, but as I said, I think it really does improve the audio in here. And I should also mention that up there, <laughs> I have an old, for this video, I have an old GoPro Hero 2, which is uh, just shoots uh, 1080p. So we'll see how that um, up reses when we conform it to 4K. So as you can see, of course, this is a converted garage and as such, it, it is what it is. The size in here, it actually has 10 foot ceilings, so that's very nice. It's about 20 by 22 feet in terms of area and it works quite well except for street noise, which I've <laughs> mentioned my frustration with that in other videos. So I, I usually shoot at night and actually I'm, I'm better at night than certainly than first thing in the morning. But it can be frustrating when I'm trying to get a video out quickly and I can't really shoot in here if there's a lot of, well, we've been dealing with a lot of construction noise re recently. So yes, it is a garage and you can see there's all kinds of other impedimenta piled around here. Oh, I should mention my seamless, rolls of seamless up there. Yes, I know they should be standing upright, but that's what we have here. And really, a lot of this other junk, I think it might help acoustically. And yes, there's also, I, I forgot to mention, I've got some older lighting here. I've had this stuff for some of it well over 30 years, actually going on 40 years, my oldest reflectors there. And I press those into service once in a while. I think there's enough lighting in here to light up most of the dark corner. And so I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of my studio. If you did, please do give this the old thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel because we'd love to see you again. In the meantime, take care, cheers, and we'll see you later.